Annie's room. Maybe you just want to sleep in here. Annie's room is a lot like like Raymond's in the sense that it's always cold. I always keep the space heater in here. Oh. Even like in the spring and the fall, um, when other rooms, it was funny, this was another one of those things that it took me a while before all of a sudden it occurred to me. When everybody checks out on a Sunday, I'll come upstairs, I'll open all the doors, make sure nothing's left on or running or whatever, and, and deal with housekeeping later. And it was funny because I would go through these, these uh, rooms, and in all of the rooms I'd be shutting the air conditioners off, but every time I got to 11 and 22, so it was the heat I shut off. But that, that, you know, and again, you, you have nothing to compare it to. The guests wouldn't recognize that. Mm -hmm. And uh, must be a helicopter coming in or something. Because I don't have a clue what that is. But yeah, this is Annie. Kind of her story is, is that she, um, and of course, when I tell you guys stories, these are, I'm repeating names and visuals that other people have had that they have come from people that aren't related to each other and this information came together over a period of time before you saw everything posted like you do now. Yeah. And that Annie was having a relationship with the gentleman and uh, he was married, was always going to leave his wife and get married and um, she ended up pregnant and he left. And so they see her I mean, I've been in here with adult men that all of a sudden the tears are just running down their, and they've just got to leave. Um, very emotional that way, but apparently she's here by the window and looks out the window. And this was a room that I had one of my first experiences in with, with the Twin City group. And I was actually sitting in the chair there. Never done an investigation in my life. I had no clue what I was getting into. Never watched it on television. But knew nothing. Then they were doing all, getting their temp readings and doing everything and um, it was uh, in the summer and they had the air conditioner just cranked on high after running around setting up equipment and I was sitting in the chair here and it just so happened that the shutter was so that it was blowing right on me. I was freezing and I wanted to get up and leave the room. I was so uncomfortable. But I thought, oh, I don't want to disturb what they're doing. And all of a sudden, you guys, I just, it's like I was just surrounded. I just ever so lightly, I could feel it on my body like a blanket. I couldn't feel the air blowing on my, my bare legs anymore. The cold was gone. I just could have curled up and gone to sleep. And all of a sudden, I was sitting there going, this shouldn't be happening. I, I suppose I should speak up. And the baseline readings in the room, I mean, they, they had that thing like to 55 in here. And I think the readings around me were 68. And it lasted about three minutes. And when it went away, it just lifted. It, most amazing. Because like I said, it wasn't just that I was cold. I mean, the air was blowing on me. And it all stopped. I was just totally yeah. That was a little freaky for me. Not first. Yeah, this is, this oh, yeah. is Annie's room. This is a room where I've had people that they she'll she'll uh, they'll wake up at night and she's rubbing your back or rubbing your leg and she's friendly. She's cool. Hmm. Is this the only room that that happens at? Nice things like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there rooms that not so nice things happen? Yeah, and you oh, happen to have, so have that room. Oh, yeah. well, we're treating you to the, the, the best suite in the house. Mm -hmm. You guys are very generous. I told, I told Chris and I said, he's so gung-ho about everything, let's just put him up there and see what happens. Under the bus is what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone ever stay in here? <laughs> stay here? Yeah. Oh, room. most requested room in the building. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. This is the door that, uh, on more, yeah. well, on the Borderlands, this is the one that slams shut. And you can, okay. I mean, we don't even have to have a stopper on it because of how it catches in the carpet. You don't have to. And she'll slam that sucker shut that it'll rattle the pictures on the walls, and the semis don't even do that up here. Wow. 
They do in the lobby. Does it happen very often? It's happened multiple times for me. I know it has for other people too. Yeah, I I know there's been that one explanation from one ex member of the Twin Cities group to say that they're all spring loaded, but there's no way this would No. 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 I mean once they get a certain a certain yeah. distance, by law they have to. But that's not what it does. No. It's like two hands. Oof. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, brutal. That's not not even a wind I think would take that to. Because you these windows don't open, do they? No. <laughs> by law they can't. So. They're cocked, they're nailed, yeah. they're There goes that whole explanation right out the window. Yeah. <laughs> they're not drafty, I mean nothing. Curtains won't move, nothing. That have come up to these rooms before. They, you know, obviously they did it one time. They have handles on them, and people have ripped the handles right off of them because they've been trying so hard to open them. Sure. But no, normally Lucy sits right there. That's her chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you want to write, go ahead and sit in that chair right behind you. And this one? Feel free to have a seat. Yeah. Yep. That's Lucy's chair. Let's so what does she do? She she um, slams the door. She um. She appears to people and... Lucy, I'll tell you what, her, her biggest claim to fame is dropping the temperature in here. Did you pull it? No, I didn't. Well, it's warm in here now, so it'll be interesting to see if it cools down, I'll know. Huh. Oh, you, you ask her to? What did the... What did the, the door um, just shut behind me. Did it? <laughs> yeah, I did. I thought I stepped I on the carpet and moved it. I thought you grabbed it. I thought you pulled it, Oh, yeah. there we go. Oh, okay. oh, oh, the Uh, well, you weren't doing that. I can assure you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty confident you weren't doing that. Um, so it shut twice on me now, and I have no reason why. <laughs> it's pretty creaky, yeah. Yeah, there's no way that the carpet's gonna. Um, what was I saying now? Lucy's biggest claim to fame. Oh, yeah, changing the temperature. No, you ask her to change. When the group was here from Chicago, Dark Forest, what did they say? Within 20 minutes, they had it from 58 to a minus one. Hmm. Minus really? one. Oh, you guys, you that's you a sit here. You oh, and and that's you that and that's how you talk to Lucy. You you just remind her, Lucy was so oppressed and so abused and so disrespected and so unappreciated. You come up here and you treat her with respect and kindness and you get results. It's just like, you know what, you're not gonna go talk to my bartender that way. You're not gonna talk to what you can't see that way. Mm -hmm. you, you treat what you don't know with as much respect as, as, as what it is you think you do know. Well, like we always say, they're people too. Mm -hmm. Did you just get touched or what? Yeah, I'm gonna grab my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that from her too, I think, in the reports. Oh yeah. Yeah. And downstairs, I'm sort of like, or something. Well, and and the, okay, the whole so cobweb nice. thing, that is okay, what so was in, sense. that's when it finally occurred to me because how often I see people doing that when I'm walking yeah. in the basement with them. And they're not even, you know, they'll maybe quick do one of these because it's just that reaction like I just yeah. walked into a cobweb. Or, yeah. You know, that's interesting. When we first came up the stairs from downstairs and you sat in the chair mm -hmm. in the hall and I was at the bottom of the stairs, I didn't say anything then, but I, I felt kind of a, like a cool breeze, but then felt something like and it felt like cobwebs and I went like that and I knew I wasn't gonna get any cobwebs but that's what it felt like yeah, just it's just that just those little there. butterfly kisses yeah. like yeah, just that that's what it was just like that yeah.